All right, so for the better part of a year now, probably people have been waiting for the bigger brother of the A6X2, the Nomad, which is the A5X2. And today we finally got a announcement from Supernote on Reddit here. So I'm gonna walk you through some of the changes from the original A5X and also some of the similarities and upgrades from the A6X2, the Nomad. From the A5X, we can see it's about 1.3 millimeters thinner overall. And it does have a tapered design. So on the edges here, it's actually only 3.5 millimeters and then it tapers to 5.9 in the back or like the middle of the back. It'll probably feel really thin in the hands. But this is a little teaser of the loop that's now built in. And so you can see with the screws in the back there, it is also a modular design, just like the Nomad here. Although we didn't get any teaser of a crystal version, so who knows if that's coming. It looks like the back panel is only part of the back, not the entire back like this. So likely we probably won't see a crystal case, my guess is. And then with the half folio now, instead of being a full folio like this, where it covers the back as well, it is a half folio and there's a little kind of switch there you can see that releases these clasp mechanisms. And because it's a half folio, you can see here as well that there is a pen loop that's kind of built in and it almost looks like there's like two screws. Can't tell if they're screws or if they're like a detachable thing, but that probably opens up the opportunity for different size pen loops as well. I know some people complain that the Nomad pen loop for the standard pens is just a little big. I don't have any issues with it, but when you have like a Lamy pen, it fits here. That's probably why they made it so big, but that means it could probably be customizable. And with the half folio versus the A5X, versus that with the full folio, it is actually 15% lighter, which is nice to see. And then here is a drop test, looks like a little over six feet, or actually like right around six feet. Drop it right on its face. And that is one of the good things with Feel Right 2. It is kind of by nature, very scratch proof because you're scratching it with metal all the time. And uh, that's kind of the similar effect here, but it has increased by 33% PPI from 226 to 300. And it's also gone up 0.4 inches. And so I was actually, one of the things I was surprised with is I expected them to say it was Carta 1300, but they haven't really like made that clear here. But given devices like the VWoods AI that's 10.65 and is Carta 1300, I think it likely will be, but it doesn't clarify that. Let me know what you think about that. And then you can clearly see the battery is bigger than the Nomad's battery here. And that's kind of expected because it's a much bigger device, but the SOC is the exact same SOC. So if you wanted to transplant this to a different device, you could, I don't know why you'd want to, but makes modularity easy and upgradability and replaceability if something breaks. And uh, looks like there's also the little micro SD slot down there in the kind of same location. The battery does look like it has a different connector if you can see here. And yeah, expandable storage here. So it's got the same sidebars as the Nomad, which give you your kind of quick access menu, gives you the ability to refresh the ghosting, redo, undo, essentially on the left side. By the looks of the pen loop here, it actually seems like it's stretchy. So you can see it fits the standard push-up, the Lamy, and the Heart of Metal. All They all look very tight on it, so I'm guessing that it's a kind of stretchy, like, I don't know, like a, like a nylon or like some stretchy fabric there. This is cool. Because it's a half folio, it now has the non-slip pads, uh, kind of like the Remarkable. That's uh, something that I wish the Nomad did have because I actually like using the Nomad outside of its case, but this can be relatively slippery. And uh, surely you could probably mod it if you wanted to, but it's nice that it, it comes built in. I wonder if they'll actually end up making a half folio case for the Nomad that is like a similar design and is kind of attachable because this whole back plate is removable and attachable. So it'd be interesting to see if they kind of implement a similar design on the Nomad from this as like a upgrade accessory type thing. And the charging port is still on top like the Nomad for better organization when you're on a table or something like that. Subscribe to notifications.
like they mentioned last week, this was going to be an announcement. So some people might be a little disappointed that they don't have a concrete date of when to pre-order or when it's coming out. My guess would be like in the next couple weeks, we'll start to hear about pre-orders, but no one really knows. Yeah, just pretty cool device. I'll certainly be getting one and putting out some content on it when it comes out. So stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, if you want to check out some more A5X2 content, you can see that up here. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.